the punishment for those people who refuse to pay zakat or are neglectful in paying of zakat. And a beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, it's Mish Hadith of Tabrani, that the person who does not pay zakat, his wealth will be destroyed. And the Prophet said further, in the Sahih Hadith of Sayyid Al-Targib, volume number one, Hadith number 758, that those who are neglectful in paying of zakat, there will be a calamity brought to them, maybe like famine, etc. Further, the beloved Prophet said in Ibn Majah and Al-Hakim, that those who are neglectful, those who refrain from paying zakat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not send rain on them. If it wouldn't have been for the animals and cattle that they have, rain wouldn't have been sent down to them. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Tawbah, chapter number 9, verse number 34 and 35, that those who bury gold and silver and spend it not in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that means do not give zakat, announce to them a grievous penalty. The wealth which they hoarded will be put into the fire of hell and with it they'll be branded on their forehead, on their flank and on their back and it will be told to them, taste the wealth which you hoarded. And a beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, it's mentioned in Hadith, Sahih Bukhari, Book of Zakat, volume number two, Hadith number 1403, that those people who do not pay zakat on the day of judgment, their wealth which they have hoarded, on which they have not paid zakat, would be made into a snake, which is a bald-headed snake, bald-headed male poisonous snake, which has marks above the two eyes, and it would be wound around the neck, and it would sting at the cheeks, and would say that I am your wealth, I am your wealth which you treasured, and the Prophet says, and repeats the verse of the Quran that Allah revealed in Surah Imran chapter 3, verse 108, that those who covet the wealth which Allah has given and thinking that will be good to them and not spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the wealth will be wound down the neck and it will not benefit them. So this is a punishment for a person who does not give zakat. Further, beloved Prophet said, it's mentioned in Sayyid Muslim, volume number two in the book of Zakat, Hadith number 2161, the beloved Prophet said that those people who do not give zakat on the cattle, these cattle, their horns would be broken or would be twisted or would not be with horns and with the horns they would gore the master and some of the cattle would trample beneath the feet and this will continue happening till the full day and one day will be equal to 50,000 years. That's the day of resurrection. And then it will be decided whether these people will go to hell or heaven. Further, it's mentioned in the Hadith of Bukhari, volume number two, in the Book of Zakat, Hadith number 1399 and 1400. There were some Arabs who revolted. They don't want to pay Zakat. Hadith Abu Bakr, may Allah please with him, he said that these Arabs, Muslims, who do not want to pay zakat, he will wage a war against them. So Hazrat Umar Malla with him said that how can you wage a war against them? Because the messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that only wage a war against those who worship anyone besides Allah and do not say la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. But then Hazrat Abu Bakr says that but these people are breaking the law. Anyone who differentiates between zakat and salah, that it is fard, and does not give zakat, even if he does not give one she kid or one lamb he used to give at the time of the Prophet. Now, if they abstain from giving zakat, he will wage a war against them. And Hazrat Umar, may Allah please with him, says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has opened the heart of Hazrat Abu Bakr, may Allah please with him. And whatever decision was right. So, there's a grievous penalty for those who do not pay zakat. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from not paying the zakat and being amongst those who will be punished as a result of that. Dr. Zakir Naik. Amen.